Good morning, students. Welcome back. Today, we have another lesson for you. So let's get started. So today, there it is, it is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. Please repeat after me. Today is our content objective today is I can read a text about Homes. Our language objective today, I can answer questions about a text. On our agenda today, we have just two things to do. Number one, we will read about bedrooms around the world. We read this text on Tuesday and we are going to read it again today. And number two, we are going to answer questions about the text. So without further ado, let's get started. Hopefully you all remember reading this text on Tuesday. And as we read the text again today, I want you all to focus on pronunciation, how you say the words, and also what the text is saying so that when you answer the questions, you remember what you read. Let's begin. You are going to read with me today. So as I read, I want you to read with me. Ready? Bedrooms around the world from where children sleep. Dong is nine years old. He lives in Yunnan, China, with his parents, sister, and grandfather. He shares a bedroom with his sister and parents. Dong enjoys writing and singing in his room. Every day, Dong spends one hour completing his homework and one hour watching television in his room. He has a fan in the room for when it gets hot. He also has two posters on the wall. One of his favorite singer and one of Mao Zedong, a Chinese leader. Juan David's bedroom. Juan David is 10 years old. He lives in a small town with his parents in Medellin, Colombia. Juan David's dad built the home. They live on a hill. Juan David likes to play 
with toy trucks and cars in his bedroom. Before he goes to sleep, he likes to play the guitar. In his bedroom, he has a lot of hats hanging on the wall that he likes to wear outside. He also has a bike helmet and a soccer ball hanging on the wall because soccer and riding bicycles are his two favorite sports. He has a curtain over the window. What do you think his favorite color is? You are correct, green. Anusha's bedroom. Anusha is 13 years old. She lives with her parents and older sister in a small house in Kathmandu, Nepal. Anusha likes to read about plants and science at the desk in her bedroom. She also loves to dance to Bollywood songs in her bedroom. She has many dolls in her room that she likes to play with on her bed. Anusha loves to keep her room clean and tidy. She makes her bed every morning before she goes to school. Now students, we are going to answer some questions about the text that Miss Allie just read with you. So let's look at the questions. First, directions. You are going to write the answer to each question on a piece of paper, and then you will text us the answers on the paper. You will get the answers from the text that you just read. Let's read number one. Number one, who does Dong share a bedroom with? Dong shares a bedroom with his blank and blank. Do you remember from the text who Dong shares a bedroom with? If you don't, you can go back to the text and look. Number two, when Dong gets hot in his bedroom, what does he do? Dong turns on a blank. Number three, what does Juan David have in his room? Juan David has a lot of blank, a blank, and a blank. Answers are in the text. Number four, what does Juan David have over his window? Juan David has a blank 
over his window. Number five. What does Juan David like to do before he goes to sleep at night? Juan David likes to blank. Number six. What does Anusha like to do in her bedroom? Anusha likes to blank, blank, and play with blank. Number seven. Is Anusha's bedroom clean or dirty? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Miss Genevieve needs to read that sentence again. She made a mistake. Is Anusha's bedroom clean and tidy or messy and dirty? Then you will answer, Anusha's room is blank. And we would also like to know, what is your favorite room in your home and why? Miss Jen has made an example of these questions and she is going to share her answer with you. Students, first of all, I can share an example for question number one. The question number one is who does Dong share a bedroom with? And my answer is from the text, Dong shares a bedroom with his sister and parents. And then you, on your paper, can write the answers, the question and the answers, to questions two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you can tell us the answer to this question. What is your favorite room in your home and why? For me, my favorite room is my living room slash kitchen. They are attached to each other. And oops, the reason is because there are beautiful views out the window. I can see mountains or hills, and sometimes I have a nice view of the moon and the stars or the sunset. So students, we look forward to hearing what is your favorite room in your home and why, and also seeing how you are doing at reading and understanding the text by looking at your answers to these questions. So please, for your homework today, you will watch this video. You can reread the text and you can write your answers to the seven questions plus the extra credit question and text them to us. And we will be so happy to take a look at your work, learn what is your favorite room in your house, and be in communication with you. Take care of yourselves. We will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.